Hello everybody, this is Juicy Talk TV. Uh, most of you already know me by the name of Deuce in the past, which I am no longer going by that name, which I'm now going by the name of Juicy Duck. Uh, today I'm doing a Let's Play series on, in Wizard 101, the game, as a balanced wizard. I got addicted to this game playing it a lot when I was a kid, and I still am now. This game's been going around for like 10 years or more now. Which is, and it's still going strong, which is amazing and awesome. So, let's hop into it and start new. Aha! The spell is working! Look, Gamma! Finally, we have found one! Oh! A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. Which is referring to our world. <laughs> uh, and that's right, um, this game has a bit of dialogue, so I will have my mute mited. Mute, not mited. Muted, sorry. <laughs> So, I would not be talking through the dialogue most of the time, but I might now and then, who knows. But yeah, it's pretty... You get to choose your wizard, element, whatnot, it, through this process, which is amazing. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets? Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. So yeah, this is the process where if, if you're new and you choose a wi this is how you basically choose a wizard. So, like, give you questions like these. So, part, uh, go over party. Which of these is the most powerful? Plague, sandstorm, earthquake, volcano, hurricane, tornado, or blizzard. Eh, I'd say tornado. If her class at school is off. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, um. Like, all my classes hell of science and math. Reading and writing. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Does it have any of the things I like? Anyways. Say afternoon. What is more important to you? Competing against others, cooperating with others. Eh, you get more things if you cooperate. Which is your favorite animal? Crab, bat, polar bear, shark, snake, unicorn, dragon. Crab. Contain. And here it is, the balance I wanted. You have chosen a school of balance. Balance wizards are wise, clever, thoughtful, and charming. Well, thank you. Famous sorcerers include Cleopatra, Margaret, I think I said that right, Thatcher, and Merlin. Balance wizards are great at adjusting the rules of combat. Which is true, because I've seen them in action. Damn, they're powerful. Oh, my vision is failing me. Are you a boy or a girl? All right, a boy, obviously. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Hmm. Face. Ah, stay with that. Color. I'm just going to choose red. Cause I like good, color. good. Now, what do you wear? And so this is. Mainly looks like a bit of balance, balance man. I'm just gonna keep that. But it can choose the hat, color, and the trim to, to your liking mostly, which is cool. As you can see. Which is amazing. And voila! Alright then. What is your name? And you can choose the names from these, like first name, middle name, and last name, basically. Those two combine, if I remember. So, uh, I 
Dusk Blossom. Let's go. Let's go with that. All right, and as you can see, it goes with this. It just annoy the other wizards in the discs. Well, hello. If it isn't our newest student. I'm not gonna skip tutorial, even though it's uh, it's a while, but meh. To show you guys, it's pretty great. Uh, the tutorial obviously shows you how to play the game, and whatnot. So my name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you, but first things first. To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try it now. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. So if you want to talk, press X or left click on the mouse. Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl and I am quite pleased to meet you. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Oh! How odd. Hmm. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! To the tower it is. The golden tower. Who's there? Malister. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. <coughs> so there is a certain way... Obviously, you just run up to the, the mobs and it comes up like this. And mind you, everyone, I am terrible at explaining. You've drawn these spells me. from your deck. Quickly! You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malister's henchmen by clicking on him. And obvious, and as you can see here with the cards, it's. I do not know how to explain properly, but it's. Like those um, card games you play in online on your computers and whatnot, a little bit, but completely different. Oh my, you're hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. And that's health, and that's mana. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Well, mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh, my. Oh, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. It's okay, Ambrose. Where were we, then? Oh, right. Attack his henchman again. Attack his henchman again. Got it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 
knows all different spells for all different element classes, obviously. Like this one right now is mid. And the two I'm versing is ice. Aha! You doddering fool! Your student is no match for my forces! Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will rip. It will kill me. And I kind of cut out on the dollar. Sorry, everyone. Foolish creatures! You've let the young whelp heal! Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it! Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells! Here, young wizard. Take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now! Pick another spell and cast it at one of them. Oh yeah, and most times I will not talk. Oh my, well. that spell reduced the power of your own spell. It's like, from my, from my like main quest type battles or whatnot, I will not talk, because there might be dialogue. And... At last, you fools earn your keep! Now, finish the child. I do not want to talk over it, or... Yeah. Basically, uh. cast this balance blade spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. Oh, that's right. Through also, you'll be noticing throughout the spells with balance, you can get blades, which is amazing. But you can also get blades of dip all, of all the other elements in the game, which is quite useful, considering there are two spells which I'll show you in, in probably in the future or when I get them. or when we visit the professor because there are spells when I consider like three elements of specific ones which is amazing This one learns fast, Malistair. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. With the balance blade spell you've already cast, the meteor strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. Excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less? Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Oh, my. You look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, 
Congratulations. Defeating Malastare's henchmen has earned you some experience. This experience bar will help you track your progress. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? What's that? You don't know how to speak? Oh, my pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. This is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. Ah, you have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spell book and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? See you soon. Alright, so that was the tutorial, which is pretty... I had to do that again a few times because I got lost when I first started playing it again because I stopped playing it for a few years back then when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this game can be this game can be grindy and addictive sometimes depending your game style and how you play and whatnot, or however you guys, how everyone you like to play certain games like. RPGs or like games like Wizard 101. Welcome to Wizard City, young wizard. Things here are not normally this hectic. There's a problem on Unicorn Way that absolutely must be dealt with before we can get you enrolled. I've an idea. Perhaps, uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. You may be able to help. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. The headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. Please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. All right. Doing most of these quests is fun and all. You have so. just been given a tutorial Ooh. tip. These will occasionally appear on the right-hand side of your screen. These are portraits that give you timely information when you click on them. Welcome to the Spiral. As you adventure in Wizard 101, you will encounter lots of fun things to do beyond defending the Spiral against evil. At level 3, you can start crafting. Yay! Uh, and with the crafting, it's essential with most things like some quests or items, like wands, equipment, or housing, or not. Like crafting is essential in this game. It's a game in once you le once you're a higher level at level five, you can get a pet. Pets will be useful in this game. Either they give you special boosts bonuses or extra spells depending on the pet and depend and it's usually random too when you train it sometimes at level 7 you can start fishing at level 10 you can enter player versus player tournaments which is fun like 
there is a rankings, and obviously, in player versus player. I don't know if you can begin gardening. But there's people that love gardening in games like these. At level 15, you can purchase a castle. And much more, much, much more fun. Much more. Have fun, young wizard. So, yeah. It, this is like here, you, the fishing guy. So, you'll be able to find him easily. Once you're a low level, at the beginner levels, and you start need to start fishing, you can start learning how to fish in the game. Photomancy, but I won't. I will get to that at some point in like future episodes. And photomancy is quite fun as well. Now let's get back into the questing. None shall pass. Unicorn Way is off limits. There are ghosts everywhere. You show Private Stilson a letter with Headmaster Ambrose's wax seal. Looks legit. I'll let you pass. Show this to Private Conley in Unicorn Way. Let's see what these people have to say. I am the Duel Master. If you would like to learn about player versus player wizard duels, find me outside the arena on Unicorn Way. And let's just get these ones over. Oh with. my! You have entered an area with monsters in it! If you want to safely traverse this dangerous area, stick to the sidewalks, dear. They are safe. Which is hand, which is health tips, because like for example, if there are monsters roaming around this part, and you don't want to, you want to avoid battle. Obviously, what she means is like go through footpaths like these. Remember, characters with a yellow exclamation point over their heads will have a quest for you. You should get them all while you can. Private Conley, Wizard City Guard. Ha! A letter from the Headmaster. You're very brave to bring this to me. Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. The street is dangerous. I've seen wizards like you go down that way and never come back. Beware! Your arrival is a blessing. We need help fending off the ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark forces have risen, and we don't have enough guards to stop them. We would be honored if you would use your powers and chase lost souls away for us. And as you can see right here, I leveled up. Which is cool. Oh, Ambrose has something to say. Remember that you can bring up your map by pressing the M key or clicking on the map icon within your spellbook. So M, like something like this shows up. Which become a handy if you get lost. And in the book, your character, which you can press A, back, back, press B if need be. Pets, it, you press I, spell deck, P. Uh, quest, Q, map, and crafting. So you'll be able to see the crafting recipes you have, which will be very handy if you get confused. The help and options. So yeah, I, next episode, everyone, I'm will do obviously Unicorn Way. I played for Unicorn Way, but today's episode was mainly just the tutorial stuff. Ooh! And right here. Cattail. As you can see, they're like... Here. Might as well. Oh, that's right. Here, I'll show you. Real quickly. Backpack. Obviously, items. Mounts, decks, housing items, 
fishing, snacks, which is obviously for pets, fragments, for crafting, and cat tails that I just got there with this. Harvest, harvest rare, shop, drop, jewels, which oh, works, which will be explained later in later episodes. Monsterology, photomancy, later episodes. And back, back, back. You've just collected a reagent. Reagents are used as ingredients in crafting recipes. You can find different reagents throughout the spiral, either by harvesting them, defeating monsters, or purchasing them. Reagents go in your reagent bag, which you can access by selecting the crafting tab in your spellbook, or by pressing J on your keyboard. So that would be handy. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be ending episode here, got everyone. Next episode, we'll start questing in Unicorn Way. But like I said before, today's episode was mainly just a tutorial. It can go, the tutorial basically just to here will take around like probably around less than 30 minutes. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you want more. And also I do stream Wizard 101 constantly now and then as well. But on my life wizard, which is at level 74 or 75 right now. So yeah, I'm just doing one thing to do a gameplay sit a gameplay <laughs> let's play series on balance wizard because I actually enjoy balance spells because they're amazing and handy. So yeah, hope you did enjoy and see you in the next one. So bye!